So you've got the joy card over here, and it looks like, uh, you know, there's an ending of a very difficult situation. You've got Pisces over here ruled by Pluto, so Pluto brings an end to difficulties. And then you've got Jupiter, so this is bringing love and expansion and a lot of joy. And you can see this woman's very, very happy. So this is the wish fulfillment card, and it looks like something is coming true or something some good news is coming in and there's some kind of celebration coming in for you and then you've got the crone which is transmutation and this is about rising above a situation focusing on yourself focusing on your goal and rising above all the difficulties it's the phoenix rising from the ashes so whatever is coming in for you it's going to allow you it's going to uplift you and bring you out of a difficult situation you've got the moon over here so this is about uh, relying on your intuition as well so you can see once you start focusing and activating those sh those crown chakras uh, it looks like a lot of joy and happiness comes in. You've got that rainbow coming out from her uh, her heart chakra there. So, uh, or even from her skirt. And there's a lot of flowers blooming over here. So some kind of joy coming in over here. Now you've got that sign of Pisces over here. So there's an end of difficulty. So both these cards, the joy card as well as the moon card, is about the ending of a difficult situation. Maybe the ending of confusion, but a need to also rely on your intuition to sort things through. So go by your gut instinct. If you feel like you want to do it, do it. Don't let anybody dissuade you. Now, you've got the cleansing card over here, which is the Five of Seas, which is the Five of Cups. So there was a lot of disappointment, a lot of drama. You've got Mars here in Scorpio. It's a lot of fighting, a lot of vindictive behavior. People were being very sneaky, nasty, a horrible kind of behavior going on around you and you had to deal with these people and uh, you know there's a lot of disappointment regret upset going on and that's what you've been dealing wrong with in the past now you've got the um maiden revolution card of here so you are refocusing your energies you could have well even been dealing with an aries person over here and this is maybe maybe somebody that caused you a lot of drama a lot of fighting a lot of problems because uh, you can see there's a lot of fire surrounding this person so you could have been maybe this is the person that caused all these problems with you because there's a mars in scorpio and there's also that uh, aries which is ruled by mars so a lot of mars energy causing a lot of disruption and a lot of fighting <coughs> but you it seems like you know you are centering yourself and focusing on yourself but it looks like you are going to be overcoming this because you've got that crone transmutation. So coming up, emerging of, as a victor. You've got that nine of cups over here. So really celebrating success. Now going to the future, you've got the fool. So this is brand new beginnings coming in for you. So whatever it is, you're leaving it in the past and you're moving forward. Now you're moving into your birth month now. So this is the um, birth month for um, end of a April. Um, right up to May is going to be about your new year. So maybe this is why this full card is coming in and this is showing um you know that a transformation a big change coming in for you so you're letting go of everything that uh you dealt with in the past so this is the the illusion card the wind card it is about uh you know you can see this person's walking with this cloud uh, over them but the sun's coming out so whatever problems you've been facing with that rain cloud cloud is leaving you behind and the sun is coming out so this is the end once you uh, go through your birthday this will be the end of that difficult situation you've been dealing with this is the ten of swords so you have been dealing with a lot of difficult uh, people difficult problems but it looks like it's now time to put away that umbrella and that raincoat and now the sun is coming up so things are going to start looking up so this is distinctly the end of that particular cycle that you've been going through and that cycle of misery is now coming to an end and you're going to start moving forward quite enthusiastically you can see this woman is dancing so something really brand new coming in for you and it's going to bring in a lot of joy so those are the energies for that week So, oh, happy birthday, Taurus, for, for the uh, uh, end of uh, April and into May. I always forget to wish people happy birthday. Uh, but it looks like it's a really good time because after all the difficulties you've been through, it seems like things are going to start changing for the better now. So let's see, at the end, um, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Princess of Pentacles. So this is now taking your focus and putting it on your work. And it looks like you will be able to move forward. And even though it, it's going to be a bit slow going and you're going to have to work pretty hard, this card is a card that, uh, you know, heralds in success. So whatever you're working for or working with is going to be quite successful. And your focus is going to be on your finances and your career soon. Now you've been dealing with a lot of problems. You can see this woman's dancing with this big bear and it's, uh, you know, big bear signifying big problems and, you know, 
know, it's been making you go round and round in circles, these problems that you've been going through. But it looks like that cycle is ending. That moon is in its last phase. It's almost about to end right now. And it looks like, uh, you know, you'll be able to sort things through. And also, you've been going through a lot of confusion, depression as well with this moon card. This is about, you know, being too anxious, being very confused and not knowing what to do. And also about hidden enemies. So you've been dealing with a lot of hidden enemies. Now, it looks like something brand new coming in for you. There's a good relationship coming in or somebody that's going to give you a good friendship or give you that support that you need. You've got that two of cups over here. You'll be working with somebody, a very soulmate connection and sharing, and they will allow uh, you to share your problems or whatever it is, your burdens with them, and they will be very supportive for you. So somebody coming to help you get out of a very difficult situation and maybe give you more clarity to whatever you've been going through. So you've been quite focused on your work over here. You've got that three of uh, pentacles being in service. So doing, working very hard, but at the service being in service to other people and this is you know uh, where you have been uh, going all out and putting in a lot of effort into this and this has been going on in the last year in the last few months you've been trying to to find your balance trying to heal from a difficult situation trying to wash away your problems trying to get that uh, you know that spiritual healing trying to get that physical healing maybe you've been refocusing on how your you know you what you eat, how you exercise, all that kind of thing. So you've been really spending a lot of time, maybe by yourself, maybe you've been getting back to nature as well, but this is bringing in a lot of healing. What's in your mind? You've got that Princess of Cups over here, so you want uh, some kind of offer to come in. So you're waiting for some kind of offer, uh, and you're trying to take control of that situation. You're, um, you're hoping that something comes in uh, that gets you, you know, you're waiting for something to come in. Uh, you're looking forward to something brand new. So you might be um, expecting a new job offer, maybe an offer of study because it's the Princess of Cups, uh, but you want to move away from that difficult situation. Now, at the moment, you're feeling, uh, you know, trapped between a rock and a hard place or trapped between the swords and the, the edge of a cliff. So maybe right now you feel like you don't know where to go and what to do and how to get out of this particular situation. And you're feeling very, very restricted as well. Uh, you know, maybe you can't make a move from that situation you are in. So you're at the top, you know, there's a lot of obstacles and, you know, whichever way you go, it's going to be difficult. You're dealing with a lot of difficult energies as well. Maybe there's a lot of uh, criticism going on around you, a lot of people giving you a lot of flack, uh, maybe people saying things that are pretty nasty. And, you know, it's either stand there and just wait for things to happen or jump off that cliff. So at the moment, you're waiting and uh, waiting to see what goes down. And you are going through a period of financial difficulties. You are pay praying for finances to come in. You've got that five of pentacles, feeling very lost, very alone, very left out in the cold and going through some uh, you know, financial loss that you went through. So you have been going through that. So it is time for you to take a little bit of a break, a little bit of a holiday. You've got that four of swords over here. You need to rest and realign what your true purpose is. And also it's time to refocus on yourself and your goals. So you're going through a period of healing at the moment. And even with that temperance card, this is about healing Maybe you're feeling very exhausted uh, from what you've been doing. And there you are go uh, again waiting for that offer to come in. So you are waiting for some kind of offer. Maybe it's an emotional offer that you're hoping to come in. You've got that princess of pentacles, a princess of cups over here. So waiting for that emotional offer. But even here wanting an, uh, an emotional offer to come in. So going into the future, let's see. You've got the strength card over here, the king of cups and the seven of wands. So with the strength card you will be able to sort out whatever problem you're dealing with. So you'll be able to tame that dragon. So you do, you have built up a lot of strength of character and you're going to be able to sort through problems. You've got the king of cups over here, so some emotional uh, support coming in for you. You know, watch out for your health as well with this card over here. Make sure that you're looking after yourself. Uh, don't overdo things. Take your rest. So with this, um, you know, this four of swords, it's also, if you're feeling a bit under the weather, make sure you take a break and seek medical advice if you need to. And also, you've got that that seven of wands over here so stand up for yourself whatever you're doing is going against whatever everybody else wants expects of you so that's why they're coming up against you but you will be able to deal with challenges so whatever challenges come your way stand up for yourself defend yourself it may be in the form of harsh words that people say or criticism that they give you because these are swords coming up at this woman with a wand so you're going to have to st stand up and fight fight for yourself and defend yourself in whatever you're dealing with so it looks like you know you are uh, going to get that help you are in a a little bit of a you know you're a bit stuck the energy seems a bit stuck and you're going through a healing phase right now you're still having to defend yourself you're still fighting a lot of problems and battles um and you're still having to sort things through 
you are waiting for something to good to come in, but and you do have the strength to cope with it. So whatever you're dealing with, even if it's health issues, it, you will be able to conquer it. So if whatever problems you're going through, you will come through it. Uh, but it's going to take a little bit of input from you and, uh, you know, try to de-stress, try to take a little bit of a break. Try and get a little bit of a holiday, get a mental holiday if you need to, but you need to get through that um, in order, uh, you know, for you to achieve. So let's see what's going on with the Oracle read. So you've got the Guardian Angel Tarot over here, and this is for the Oracle read. You've got the Ten of Thought over here, which is the Ten of Swords. A situation has been troubling you, and it's run, uh, come to an end. And you can breathe a sigh of relief. With challenging times behind you, you can now move forward. It is important to fully let go at this junction. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her or hers or his addictions. Now, what this is saying is you can see these two people walking away with this ten of thought. This is the end of that difficult situation. The worst is now finished and done, and it is time for you to move on. Uh, don't look back. Walk away and don't even turn and look back. Um, you know, you really don't want uh, to get involved again in that kind of scenario. <coughs> You've got the age of thought over here. It says you might feel as though you are restricted by circumstances you find yourself in. And that's just the same as this eight of swords over here. And uh, but, but it is just an illusion. Make a promise to yourself to refuse to be stuck in a situation that makes you unhappy. Don't wait for someone to come and rescue you when you can free yourself. So whatever this thing is that is restricting you, you're going to have to look for an alternative route out of that situation and move on. And uh, the last card is the Seven of Emotions. Your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It is likely that you know what choice you should make, but you are procrastinating so, don't ups uh, so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. So it is time for you to make a decision based on what you want. Whatever that decision is, you need to only think about yourself. So you need to become self-centered and really you need to become a bit selfish. Um, don't worry about anybody else. So whatever they are thinking is restricting you because you've got that eight of thought, uh, but you are now being asked to make a decision. You've been given some options with the seven of cups. Um, emotion is the seven of cups. Being given a whole bunch of emotions and now go and pick one and go for it. And you have to be very self-centered. You got In order for you to walk away from that difficult situation with that ten of swords over there, you are now being given an option. You are given not one option, but seven different options, and you're going to have to make a decision to move forward. So uh, think only of yourself, and this will allow you to move away from that particular situation. And don't look back after you move on. Uh, make a clean break from it. Because, you know, you are really, you know, in a difficult situation. So uh, uh, options are going to be coming in for you. Make that decision and move on. So um, I hope that this reading has resonated with you. It is time to start uh, thinking about moving forward, especially now that you're coming into your birth month. It is a time for you to put an end uh, to the old year and move on to the new year. So you're being called upon to make a big decision to move forward, to give up these past few years of misery and you're being asked to move forward and think only of yourself, be selfish, and you'll be able to conquer all these problems because you don't want to take any of these problems into the new year. So leave behind everything that has gone uh, um, before and go forward in a positive way. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.